Students now understand that a force must be applied to an object to make it move. But a moving object will not stay in motion forever. There are forces that act upon the object to make it slow down and stop. One such force is gravity. Another is friction. Friction is a force that resists motion. Friction occurs when two objects rub against each other. The rubbing causes objects to slow down, causes heat and noise, and can cause the surface of the objects to wear. The greater the friction, the more force is needed to move the object. One way to reduce friction is to apply a layer of lubrication between the two surfaces. The inquiry focus for this investigation is how does friction affect motion? In activity four, students discover that friction is a force that resists motion. This activity will take about 30 minutes. The vocabulary introduced in this activity is friction and lubricant. Materials from the kit are measuring spoon, push-pull meters, stacked washers, plastic dish. Teacher provided materials include paper towels, water, liquid detergent, container to mix the liquids in, and a dual scale ruler. You will also need copies of activity sheet four, parts A and B. Before you begin this activity, you will need to dilute the liquid detergent one part detergent to two parts water. Once the solution is mixed, then what you're going to do is pour three tablespoons of the solution into the cup for each team of two students. To begin this activity, ask students to rub their hands vigorously together for 10 or 15 seconds to just feel the heat. Introduce the term friction and explain that heat and sound students heard and felt were caused by the two surfaces rubbing together. Friction is the resistance to movement. Divide the class into groups of two and distribute the diluted detergent called motion lotion. Caution the students to handle the liquid carefully and wipe up any spills immediately. Have students spread a generous amount of motion lotion into the palms of their hands and repeat the hand rubbing. They discover there is no heat from the rubbing. Have the students use a wet cloth to wipe their hands and a dry cloth to, to dry their hands. Introduce the term lubricant. Explain that lubricants are substances that coat and smooth surfaces to reduce friction. Allow students time to answer the worksheet questions for activity four. Next, we're gonna have the students explore what effect lubrication has on moving objects. Student teams will need a push-pull meter, a stack of washers, and a ruler or meter tape. Okay, Johanna, let's explore just a little bit with our materials to see okay. what effect um, this is gonna have on moving objects. So, Let's take a look at our washers and let's see if we can bring our washers back to six units of force. Okay. Now, you want to hold this down really steady, so have one of your partners hold that down. Okay, good. And we're going to move the ruler right there. So that way we're staying on six, and I'll hold the ruler. And then if you want to be sure that you're pulling that back on the bottom part of the washers, okay. I think you won't have the washers flip quite so much. Okay, did, How's that? Didn't go very far, did it? Not very far at all, but I would have predicted more. Let's see how far you, it did what, go. What do you think kept the washers from uh, not traveling so far? Well, you know, the texture of this table is just a little bit rough, and we've got masking tape on the bottom of these, so maybe those two uh, factors together really created some friction. Okay, and I watched you. You put that right back in that same exact spot. So yes, now we're going to measure. Okay. And we're going to measure from the six units of force to okay. the back of our washers because the back of our washers were at six, and so we're going to measure exactly in the same spot. Okay, can you see that? I can, and it looks like it moved about 15 centimeters. Okay. Do you want to record Need to that? write that down. And we want to be sure and put centimeters um, Did it? next to it. Good, great. All right. Um, what do you think we can do to make our washers travel farther? Well, let's have, uh, let's apply a little bit more force by pulling it back farther, uh, and then maybe it will go farther. Okay, what since do you think? we tried six units of force last time, let's try eight units of force this okay. time. 
Okay, so I'll hold the ruler and the okay. push pull meter down really steady. All right, then I'm going to pull and this we're, back. We're going to pull it right at the to the back of the ruler. And ready? Ready. Oh. <laughs> That went further. Let's let's see. All right, let's see how way. far. I'll hold this, and you measure from eight units of force to okay, the back of to the, the washer. Okay, to the back of the washer, and to eight like, units of force. Looks like that says twenty-seven centimeters. Ooh, that's, wow, that's quite a bit. So first time, it was fifteen. Now it's twenty-seven. I see a difference of about twelve. So when we use more units of force. It traveled farther. Mm -hmm. Okay. So what are some things that you think we can do to get our washers to even travel even farther down the... Well, for prediction, if we're predicting that, it is the surface that's causing the friction. We've added more force. Why don't we try some type of lubricant? And what kind of lubricant do you think we should try? I know what the kids are going to say. What? They're going to say that motion lotion that we made. We hope so. We hope that they have brought that in and, and that they're even using the terms friction. So we're going to take our motion lotion, move this out of the way because mm -hmm. we don't want it all over that, and we're going to put it in the path, and we're going to be pretty generous. We're going to take about two or three fingers, and we're just going to rub it down in the path of where we think the washers are going to travel. Do you think is, I'm in the path? I think this is a good time to talk about predicting because we're looking at a pattern here. We know what direction it's going to go, so we'll put it in the path the direction it'll move. So what do you think is going to happen, Johanna, when we add this motion lotion? Well, hopefully the students will predict that it will go farther okay. because the lubricant reduces friction. You want the students to be sure and be pretty generous. Now, you know students will be a little sloppy with it, but just remind them that we want a, a thin layer not a thick layer, but we want also not to feel any of the surface when they're putting this down. What about a little bit on the bottom I of think the... We uh, I think they say something in the, in the teacher notes about that. They'll just take their fingers again and rub some on the bottom of the washers, okay? Okay, All right, I think we're ready. Now, you know, we're going to want to be sure that we do exactly the same thing that we did last time so that we can compare. Okay. So last time we started off on... Six units. And this, and so we want to do pretty much everything the same thing, way we did it last time. They would be controlling those variables, and right? The only thing that we're changing is surface. The surface. Okay. Okay. So I'm going to hold this down like I did last time. All right. Going to put the six right there. Okay. I'm going to hold that okay, really hold tight, tight for you. Okay. It's a little bit trickier with the motion. Now remember, down at the bottom, if you hold it down okay. at the bottom and pull that back, you won't have that looping going. On. Are you ready? I am. Hmm. Okay. Well, well, let's see. Didn't look like much of an increase. No, it but didn't. Let's try it. Let's measure and see. Okay. Okay, if you'll hold that on the back, up to six units of force, it looks like it's about 19 centimeters. Okay. What did we get last time? Last time we got 15, so we did get an increase, didn't we? We did get an e increase. Okay, an increase of four. All right. Okay, so let's try the, uh, the eight and see what happens. Okay, get the ruler back up. You hold it in I'll place. Hold it tight. Okay, I'm going to pull it back, and I'm going to ho hold the washers down at the bottom. Ready? Ready. Woo! Okay, let's measure. Okay. See how far it went. We'll go from the back. Uh-oh, I don't believe our ruler is going to no, be it's not. the right instrument to use. That's why it's a good thing to have uh, measuring tape on hand. Okay. Okay, you got it? Got it at the back, and I'm holding the okay, push pull Okay, up to the down. eight, it looks like about 30, almost 35. Okay, let's write down 35 okay. centimeters. How far did it travel last time? Uh, it traveled 19, so we have a difference uh, of... I think, let's look on the eight. We're going to compare okay, the, eight the eight to the eight. Okay, the eight I almost did that wrong, didn't I? 27 to 35. 35. Do you think okay. we would get the same results if we tried it all again? Well, I... Repeated trials are always a good they idea. They really are. So if you have time, that might be a good thing to try um, several times to just get see if you get the, the same um, results. Students draw the conclusion that motion lotion acted as a lubricant to reduce friction and allowed the washers to travel a greater distance. Be sure that students complete their worksheet for the questions in Activity 4. Because we've been working with lubricants, explain to the students that oil is the most common lubricant used to reduce friction. 
students can discuss some other ways to reduce friction besides oil and write responses on their activity sheet. After completing this activity, have students wipe their desk or tables clean, collect the push-pull meters, the washers, the dishes of motion lotion, rinse and dry the stacks of washers and dishes, and return them along with the measuring spoon to the kit. You may want to have the students read the Delta Science Reader, page 15, about friction.